So, I was going to go hit arms, but they released a new nerf for my main and league, so I guess I got to skip the gym. Not true, of course, but come on. Look, man. Chronic? Well, maybe. I mean, I'm just saying this because I fucking want you to go to the gym on a consistent basis. But, look, if you've got time for fucking four hours of a combination of Rust, Overwatch, League, um, I don't, I forget anything else. But, you can't spare one, you can't spare one hour for a lift. Come on. Not cool. Not freaking cool. But then again, I'm also just kind of in a bit of a video game hater. And don't worry, I'm not just saying that like a fucking outside perspective either. I think I've got... Oh, I couldn't even tell you how many hours of fucking Warzone I've played over the years. But, you have to remember, all the hours I spent lifting actually left me of something. Now I get to walk around as a 250... Yeah, tomorrow morning should be 257. 257 pounder on an empty stomach. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. But lay off. That's all I'm saying there. So plan for tonight. Arms. Heavy as all hell. That's all. I might even do some skull crushers for triceps. Uh, but, you know, triceps are still... I'm going to hit them relatively basically. Heavy pushdowns. Maybe skull crushers. Ooh. Ooh. Heavy dips, well, machine dips, that is. I'm not really a big fan of just free, well, like normal dips for triceps at least. I don't mind it for chest, but for triceps I can't. I never really end up feeling it. So, I don't know, maybe 10 or so sets of that. And then same thing with curls, but of course then I'm doing curls instead of pushdowns. <clears throat> I was going on a bit of a rant on the drive back from the gym yesterday, kind of hyping up how, you know, maybe your exercise selection isn't, like, absolutely insanely important. And look, I'm not saying that you should go to the gym and just do one movement, but if that movement feels good and you're going hard and you, you know, it's, it's one where you're actually hitting a muscle in its entirety, then I don't see a fucking problem at all. My last arm day was for triceps. It was just eight sets of heavy pushdowns with a straight bar. Same set, just repeat it back to back. <sighs> and guess what? <clears throat> My triceps were fucking destroyed. Now, I may not want to do that same movement every tricep lift, just because, you know, it is important to actually hit your shit with a variety of movements, just to make sure you really hit it in its entirety. But... Look, man, if for, for one day your lift is all one movement, I don't see a fucking problem. The last chest day, people were like, all he did was chest press and pec flies? That's not enough. I mean, it was like eight sets. Eight set workout is about right, you know. So, whether or not you want to do like six different movements and only do like maybe one or two sets on each one, or you want to stick with maybe just one or two and have those be the whole thing, as long as at the end of it, you went hard, you're fatigued, you're fully pumped, maybe you went a little bit heavier than you have before, uh, you know, a progressive overload style, and guess what? Probably a good lift, you know? So don't, uh, don't get too concerned. I know there's a very large, very large pressure to train with the most optimal science studies supported efforts but whatever man come on go to the gym lift your weights eat your protein down a bunch of carbs as long as you do all those things consistently you're gonna make solid gains there's uh i think there's well there's definitely a point of diminishing returns where you know you start doing three second eccentric two second concentric with a pause and uh like i think if you're thinking about that every set I mean, you do you, of course. If you like that, I'm not going to say don't do it. But for me, I don't find it to be very... 
maybe not, e not even enjoyable. I just don't find it to be very exciting. You know, it's way easier for me to you know, just get on a leg extension, slap on a fuck ton of weight, and just do reps until I can't move. Or same thing with leg curls, same thing with curls today, or tricep pushdowns. I like some lighter squeezing sets too, don't get me wrong. But for the majority of my volume, I just, I kind of like being a little bit more empty headed and just fucking trying to exert myself as hard as possible. Which, I mean, that's up to you to figure out what you like. You know? Because I've done a couple fucking, you've seen them. I've done lifts where it was an arm day just like this, but instead of a bunch of heavy sets like I'm going to do today, I'm doing very light squeezing reps. <sighs> very methodical, you know, hitting failure, but not from, you know, weight based tensile fatigue. Because you got to think, if I'm doing a push down with the stack and like three plates slapped on the side of it, that's much more tension on my triceps than if I do like 20 pounds single arm. And I just really try to squeeze it. Now, of course, the burn is good. And I do think it's a good set. But, I mean, the whole point of this sh training is to, you know, break your shit down so you can build it up stronger. At least in a, you know, bro science -y kind of sentiment. But, no more chatting. No more yapping. Let's go park. And get ready to go nuts. It's about 7.45 now, so I'd say probably around 8, maybe 8.30 we'll be done and we'll be posing down. Arms never takes more than an hour and a half. And if I'm going kind of quick, like I'm not taking too long talking in between sets, even a little less than an hour is perfect. But let's get in there. Not as crazy as I've ever done, but single arm pushdowns with three quarters of the stack. Not the whole stack, but this is as heavy as I can manage. Oh. Right. At least one more. Let's do some skull crushers. Part of me wanted to move up to two plates, but a plate in the 25 felt pretty fucking heavy. So I think I'll curb my ego just a touch. But. Let's lose the tens.
To push downs. There may be machine dips. All right, full stack on this dip machine, especially after those fucking sets we've already done. This feels fucking heavy. This will be a good one. One more, one more. Well, I don't know how many more, but I want to do at least one more. Okay. I think let's do a push down set, but that's enough of this. Ooh. Arms are starting off very well. Your rope finisher, that'll be perfect. Full stack, of course. Nasty reps, you get the idea. start curling. Why do they make the 85 so fucking heavy? Let's go to the 80s. That's fucking crazy. <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god. Oh, one more heavy set. Ugh. 
Okay, fine. Okay. Only six and a half reps. I think that's my cue to either go lighter or move on. And I'm going to pick the ladder. Very graciously being let to work in, so let's just jump right into it. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. <sighs> 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 Oh, that's why you dropped that. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. This machine's strength curve is fucking nuts. It's heaviest at the bottom, and it gets lighter towards the top. So up here, it's easy. I feel like I'm gonna fucking lose control and rip my biceps off at the bottom. Uh, maybe not for real, I'm just kind of saying this fucker's heavy in that stretch position. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do next. And then, in my moment of absolute desperation, maybe not that intense, but I remembered bicep bias pullouts. I love these things. Especially at the end of the back day when my biceps are already so fatigued. So, a little bit tricky, because it does look like I'm just doing a pull down. But, do not be fooled. My lats are not firing. My fucking traps are not firing. The only tr muscle I'm sending my brain's fucking contraction signals to is my biceps. I'm trying to pull down, but only with my biceps. I mean, it's kind of stupid to say like that. It's very, like, simple. You just have to try it. But, I really do that. One more, and we're done. Okay, you know what? Let's make it a super set. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Arms are fucking cooked. Alright. Let's see how we look at it. I'm like, I'm, it was kind of bugging. Sometimes it'll like auto focus on the mirror itself and not me behind the mirror. 
<laughs> Fully pumped. Let's see how we fucking look. <sighs> so, I'm not typically one to hype up, you know, making sure you hit every small fiber of your muscle, like with a specific movement. But I will say that those, partially those machine curls, but also those bicep biased pull downs, I do feel a lot of peak, a lot of like upper, outer bicep, which, I mean, when I think of doing a normal curl, I'm still hitting the whole thing, but those movements do sort of just kind of burn a little extra up here on the peak. So let's see how we're going. How could I be dissatisfied with this, man? How could I look at this and say, yeah, I don't really like the gym. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, geez. No. Oh, my goodness. Arms fucking destroyed. So now the plan is to go home, eat a fucking ton of food, and do my laundry. Because I'm running low on clean clothes. Mm. Honestly, part of me kind of wants to just take my clothes to a, like, well, I probably wouldn't do this. That's even more of a chore. But I wish I had, like, an industrial laundry machine, which could hold, like, four normal loads just so I could do it all at once instead of you know, giving myself a chore for the whole fucking day. Or at least, you know, a portion. My arms thrashed, inflated to hell. I can leave the gym with a smile on my face. Let's roll. All right, a pretty decent amount of time has passed from chit chat and post lift, but I don't want to miss my anabolic window. I gotta go get some food, or that workout's not gonna be any not gonna fucking mean shit that's a that's an old school fucking mentality honestly has that does anybody even fucking bring up the anabolic window anymore that's uh we just, we're moving forward we're moving forward as a community we're kind of over that now some of the some of the stupid bs we're actually starting to get a little bit of a handle of and stop uh freaking about but post-workout though I do need some fucking food in my system. If I don't get at least my fucking, you know, however many calories I have left to eat tonight to add up to like five and a half thousand, I'm not going to wake up at 257 tomorrow morning. It's, you got to remember, as, well, maybe not remember, but if you're bulking up hard and you're really eating a ton of food, your bulked up weight is the weight that you are in the morning after you go to the bathroom when you're full of fucking carbs, as full as you can be. So if you have a day where you miss meals, for one thing, not only are you not gonna be in a surplus for that day, which total opposite goal of, you know, the point of the fucking bulk, but you're gonna wake up, I mean, depending on how big you are, you could wake up five pounds light if you have a, you know, a low calorie day on your bulk. Like if tomorrow, I woke up at 257 and then I only ate 2000 calories. The next day, I'm sure I'd wake up at like fucking 250, maybe 254, maybe even 253 if I was a little bit dehydrated. So that's my main concern when it comes to bulking is to constantly wake up at about the same weight. Of course, there's going to be different fluctuation some days you're just going to be heavier than others you know there, if you look at it day by day it is kind of a fucking wavy back and forth like that but as long as every day i know that i'm fully carved up i hit my calories the night before and i'm weighing pretty similarly then week to week I'm getting heavier when you back up and you zoom out a little bit on the graph you see a pretty solid trend and if that trend starts to slow down and i notice i've been the same weight for like two weeks that's my cue to get some more calories. Because the primary vector of my growth right now 
is food. If I was only eating 3,000 calories, I would not be gaining much muscle. Now, 3,000 is about maintenance, maybe a little bit above, maybe. Actually, honestly, my maintenance calories is probably closer to like 3,500 right now. But if I were to eat just a little bit above maintenance, sure, I'd, I mean, I'd still grow muscle for sure. But the whole point is I want to stay in that really fucking full state. Have an excess, an exorbitant amount of carbs floating around in my system. So, well, not only am I going to have enough energy to actually grow, but being fucking full of food and carved up and strong, I have better lifts. When I diet down, I still have good lifts, of course. I still get nice and pumped and, you know, everything else. But when I'm full of fucking carbs, super strong, do some real heavy-ass weights, that's a good lift. That's the lift we have today, fucking... A lot of heavy sets, serious amount of damage done. Uh, after I finished arms, I actually did some forearm work at the end. Uh, I did some... I just sat down on a seated cable rail with a D-handle and just did some uh, forearm curls like that. I didn't hit the back, but I just did this kind of bottom part. I'm going to throw those in every so often just because I do want bigger forearms. They do make you look pretty fucking cool. Deer just fucking scurried across the road. Yeah, you can't see him through the window. But no plan on stopping. This bulk will continue for, I mean, I can guarantee two months. I can probably even guarantee three months. But that's not really the point. Like, I don't have a specific time or a specific weight goal in mind that I want to hit. Really, I'm just trying to gain as much mass as I can. And then once I'm really tapped out, I just can't eat any more food. It's like it's plateaued for about a month or so. And my efforts to eat even more food are just not going to happen. You got to remember, there is a limit. Like, I know it's kind of, or I love saying, if you're not gaining weight, just eat more food. But if you've done a proper bulk for months on end, at least three, maybe even getting up into four, and you seriously just can't break past you know, 4,000 calories, like you just meal prepping, big breakfast, everything evenly distributed throughout the day. I mean, you're going to get to a point where it's just too much. Now, I don't want to do that, of course. That's what I'm fighting against, right? I'm trying to keep the food coming. But once I really hit that plateaued state, that's my cue to say, all right, we got to chill. Oh, can you see him? There's a little street cat running around. Uh, but yeah, don't worry, mass upon mass. I mean, I guess you might not, I mean, <laughs> I can guarantee you don't care as much as I care, but more mass is gonna get fucking slapped onto me. And then this will be a pretty freaky ass diet. So of course, when you're bulking up, you're still in a bulking diet. But when I say diet, usually that means dining down, right? Cutting, fat loss phase. I'm excited for that too. As much as I love bulking up, being super strong, full of carbs, huge ass fucking pumps, it is fun to kind of think about what I'm going to look like diced. But don't get ahead of yourself. You got to remember, if you're, you know, if that's your end goal, if you've got a look in mind and, you know, it's a lean, grainy, whatever weight, you got to remember, you can't just go directly from where you are to that. It's kind of a roundabout process. I guess if you main gain and you got that heavy and you stayed lean the whole time, perfect. If that works, then that works. Badass. Uh, but my approach as of late, or as of the last few years, has been bulk up hard, diet down quick. Right? Like, I'm not dieting down for more than usually two or... Yeah, pretty much about two months is about as long as I take. Because I jump straight to a pretty low deficit like, as soon as I diet down, I'm going to jump s straight from 5,500 to, like, 3,000. Uh, and then maybe a little lower than that. And, you know, two months of a s reasonably steep deficit, you should see some legit fat loss. You know, and uh, it kind of sucks to say, because it's, it's very... When most people say this, they're kind of saying it in a mean, condescending way. But, really, if you can't lose body fat, if you're having trouble losing body fat, and you're like... You're trying all sorts of diets and like intermittent fasting and I gotta tell you man there's only one problem 
And that problem is you're eating too many fucking calories. And there's no other... There's, there's no trick. You're not... You don't need to do high-intensity workouts or anything special. Obviously, you should be doing your cardio, which I know you're not doing. But really, the only thing stopping anybody from losing body fat is fucking the fact that they're not in an actual deficit. And it kind of sucks because you could think you're in a deficit and you could actually be eating, you know, low enough calories where you are hungry, like you do feel hungry. But if you're not actually losing body fat, then fuck your body is clearly running off of the food that you're feeding it and not having to, you know, burn off its own fat deposits for energy. So it's as simple as that, man. If you got an electric car, it has to run out of gas before it starts using the battery. If you kind of get what I'm saying there. Because your body is going to use its most readily available fuel as its immediate source. So, of course, I'm bulking up right now. For the most part, most of the energy and shit that's being broken down for energy in my body is carbs. Carbs carbs can get converted into whatever the hell they get converted to in a second. Just like that. Whereas body fat, fuck man, it's going to take a while, right? It's like a kid with some fruit snacks and some broccoli. He's going to hit the fruit snacks first. Right? So... If you take away those fucking fruit snacks, if you take away that excess of carbs from your diet, then shit, man, your body's going to have to run off of something. So it's going to start some lipolysis. And assuming that you do it well and you're actually in a consistent calorie deficit, you track your macros. You know, every day you make sure you're at your 2300 calorie goal. Then guess what? After two months, you're going to fucking notice. Right? And uh, not to knock on any other style of dieting and like... People doing keto and Atkins and like uh, a variety of cookbooks. But the people who I see make the most noticeable and fucking drastic changes, in a, I guess more of like a body fat transformation style, it's the ones who get it. It's the ones who understand, yeah, shit, I'm eating too many fucking calories. I gotta back off. And then it's not just like that, they also eat specific foods. You know, when I diet down, I'm not going to be drinking fucking chocolate milk. I'm not going to be fucking getting McDonald's, right? Those are calorie-dense foods. Those are foods where, you know, I can eat 500 calories and not even really feel full at all. So when I diet down, I'm eating way more calorie, well, way more low-calorie-dense foods, right? High-fiber bread, right? you go to the bread aisle, keto bread, make a fucking turkey sandwich with low-fat mayonnaise, a bunch of lettuce, and some uh, some mustard. Dude, you have two of those. Fuck, man. A lot of that is like fluff food. So you're going to feel full, but you won't have so many calories in your fucking stomach. And it'll just be easier to be in a deficit. I, I end up talking about dieting a lot more when I am dieting. So maybe I should, maybe I should talk about that a little more. Every time I, I get a little bit of a one-track mind where... I always, uh, I always end up talking about whatever I'm doing at this current moment and not, you know, some other shit that I may not be so inclined to discuss. But main idea is train as hard as you can. Try to do your cardio on a consistent basis. Look up, you know, macros for bodybuilding on YouTube. There's a fucking bazillion videos. <gasps> and then if you do that for... A few months on end, guess what? You are going to see some progress. And if you're not seeing any progress, then something in your equation is off, and that's your responsibility to fix. Right? You know, this is your fucking lifting journey, not anybody else's. So let's take control of it. But that's all i got to say. I'm going to stop at McDonald's and get my classic order. Five single cheeseburgers, a large fry, a large drink. 20 nuggets. Now that is not a recommendation. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. So I'm sure after that I'm just going to fucking pass out, have some solid dreams, wake up and do it all over again. So that is it. Leg day tomorrow. I better make sure I'm fucking well rested, but I'm excited for that. So I will see you next time.